People have long been fascinated by the idea of conquering the air. It finally happened after centuries of observation, research, and trials, some ending in failure, some resulting in success. This animation presents some of the most important milestones on this bumpy road. According to his observations and research concerning flight, Leonardo designed a flying machine. The aim of this extraordinarily complex study was to mimic the different phases of the flight of birds. The experiments of the French Montgolfier brothers marked an important milestone in the history of flying. Joseph Michel and Jacques Etienne Montgolfier, sons of a family of paper manufacturers, conducted experiments with hot air balloons. Otto Lilienthal was a German engineer who lived and worked in the second half of the 19th century. Lilienthal and his brother Gustav studied the flight of birds and thereby recognized the three basic factors of flying, lift, thrust, and steering. Built in 1891, Lilienthal's glider became the precursor to modern hang gliders. Wilbur and Orville Wright, two American brothers from Dayton, Ohio, started experimenting with aircraft in 1899. The aircraft's first flight on the 17th of December 1903 was a pioneering event in the history of aviation. It was the first successful controlled flight with a powered, heavier-than-air aircraft. It was piloted by Orville Wright, who covered a distance of 39 millimeters during his 12-second flight. The German Fokker I triplane was perhaps the best-known aircraft in the First World War. It made its maiden flight in July 1917. Its name, Dreidecker, means triplane in German, and it was designed to offset the dominance of aircraft used by the Entente powers, Britain, France, and Russia. It was nearly six memeller long with a wingspan of over seven meters. A Zeppelin is a rigid guided airship. It was named after the designer, the German Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin. Zeppelins became popular before World War I. They were used for civilian and military purposes as well. They had their heyday, however, during the 1930s. The Junkers G-24 was a low-wing monoplane passenger aircraft manufactured by the German Junkers Company. It made its maiden flight in 1924 and entered service in 1925. Interestingly, it was originally designed as a single-engine aircraft, but under the restrictions imposed on German aircraft by the Treaty of Versailles, high-powered engines were not allowed, so the G-24 was built with three low-powered engines. The Messerschmitt BF-109, designed by Willy Messerschmitt, was the most widely used German fighter plane. More than 30,000 were completed, it made its maiden flight in 1935 and was first deployed by the Luftwaffe in 1937. It was one of the first truly modern fighters in World War II. Its innovative technologies have made it one of the most successful fighters of all time. The de Havilland DH-106 Comet 1, manufactured by the British-owned de Havilland Aircraft Company, was the first mass-produced turbojet-powered airliner, that is, the first jetliner. Therefore, this aircraft is considered a milestone in the history of aviation. The first scheduled flight of the Comet took place in 1952 when the Johannesburg-bound plane took off from London. The Boeing 747 was the first wide-body commercial airliner. The aeroplane, developed by Boeing Commercial Airplanes, is one of the best-known aircraft in the world. Several versions of the jumbo jet have been manufactured. It is available in passenger, freighter, and other versions, including military. It made its maiden flight in February 1969 and entered service in 1970, used by Pan American and TWA. By May 2013, more than 1,500 aircraft had been delivered. Aerospatial Basse Concorde is a retired turbojet-powered supersonic passenger airliner. First flown in 1969, Concorde entered service in January 1976 and continued commercial flights for 27 years. It was operated by British Airways and Air France and was retired in 2003 due to several unfavorable events. Only 20 aircraft were built. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a jet fighter originally developed for the United States Air Force. Since its first flight in 1978, it has been deployed in several armed conflicts. Produced by Lockheed Martin, it is still rolling off the assembly line. With its afterburning turbofan jet engine, the aircraft can accelerate to more than twice the speed of sound at high altitudes. The codename Spirit was given to an aircraft developed for the U.S. Air Force. 
It received the name due to its stealth technology, while the letter B in its official designation refers to its capacity as a bomber. The prototype for the B-2 Spirit strategic bomber first took off in 1989. The B-2 is covered with a special material that absorbs most radar signals, while the rest are scattered by the special shape of the aircraft. The aircraft manufactured by the France-based Airbus SAS is one of the world's largest airliners. Due to impressive dimensions, it is often referred to as the Super Jumbo. It is about 73 meters long with a wingspan of approx. 80 meters. It made its maiden flight in 2005 and entered commercial service in 2007. The Airbus 380 is a double-deck, wide-body, four-engine jetliner. On both decks, the passenger space takes up nearly the entire length of the fuselage. Therefore, it can carry up to 850 passengers, depending on the configuration.